guys what is going on it is royal here today back for another episode of the prison series here on royal.oplegends.com of course if you guys want to check out the server consider using that ip i'm also going to be throwing up the bedrock port as well just in case you guys are on bedrock you can still hop on and play the same exact server that i am playing right now now anyways guys in today's episode if you didn't watch the last one towards the end of that one kind of i told you guys that we were going to be joining a new gang to actually try and compete for gang top this season we were supposed to be a competitive cell and i let flush take control of like the recruiting and all the strategies and all that stuff and i was just kind of playing for content but i was still going to contribute to gang top and all that but i don't really know what happened it just kind of fell through a lot of my cell actually ended up quitting uh flush quit as well and we were just never competitive so i think the next time i try to go competitive i am just going to run the cell myself because that usually has the best results right but since this is already like week three in the map creating my own cell like from scratch and all that stuff would be pretty hard so in this episode we are going to be joining a cell because the payout i believe i think it happened like 41 minutes ago which means everybody's good to recruit make changes and you can't get like you know dq'd for boosting or anything like that so we're going to be doing that in today's episode but for this intro i have a lot of stuff that i want to get done first thing is first if i message this dude right here yo you ready i believe he wanted to sell me some essence and i didn't have any uh mine orbs whenever i woke up so i had to grind it out real quick took a couple of minutes but i'm going to be giving him 1.3 trillion mine orbs i believe for like 325 essence 29 okay boom that's 4 billion per boom it was executed now if we do slash mailbox we just got 329 essence just like that also i basically have like infinite relics here because whenever i afk my companion egg does get relics for me so that's actually kind of dope but now let's go ahead and do slash companion and we are going to use this essence right now that we just bought we can get two more levels of companion fortune we are now at a 27 percent proc rate also in the last episode we did hit our first ascend on our pickaxe i don't believe we're going to be hitting a second one it really depends because also at the end of the last video i ended up making a player shop now this is only one day after not even a full 24 hours since i've made that shop bro like literally i went to sleep and i woke up and here i am and as you guys can tell we have no mine orbs we have 368 billion and that is because i put it all into my player shop bro but if we TP on over to this thing, um, we might be broke. We might be poor. Um, okay, no, no, no. Because I did refill this shop a little bit whenever I woke up. There's 2.5 trillion mine orbs in here. There's still 19 quadrillion dollars in here. So I think that's good. And then this one, we have 216 billion mine orbs which is not a lot which means yo the shop has been doing great whenever i got online this shop was actually out of balance like they completely sold out i just recently filled it up and if we take a look at this bro boom a hundred and 75 stacks of hydrogen shards okay that is absolutely insane and then we have another 112 stacks over here and then this i actually haven't checked we have 39 stacks of regular pet boxes bro the shops have been going absolutely crazy so shout out to anybody who hopped on sold me some of their items because we are going to be using them in today's episode and throughout the rest of the season now the reason why you buy these armor shards is because if you do slash armor you can go to the mining family and you can take a look i have the hydrogen armor set right now and you guys can see the buffs that you're getting from it the max multiplier is a 0.55x and i've been mining with this thing for basically the whole season and we only have a 0.37 but obviously the higher tier armor you get the better the boosters get so in the last episode i I made these zinc boots and take a look at the difference of the max multipliers absolutely crazy i know a lot of like the top top players went for zirconium armor but i don't really know if i'm gonna be able to buy enough hydrogen shards to craft that much in the amount of time we have so i'm basically just going for a full zinc set for right now so let me go ahead we are going to be emptying out these shops because we have a ton of hydrogen shards and yeah we're gonna be crafting some armor we'll see bro oh dude there's got to be a faster way to put all of these freaking shards in there man all right boom this is almost like a full inventory and if we did like the tier five that would only give us two 
10 armor shards. That is insanity. Only three zircon. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. If we go over here, it would give us 13 zirconium armor shards, which is still pretty bad. I think I'm going to take the stack of zinc. So we're going to go ahead. Boom. There we go. We traded that in for some zinc armor shards, but don't worry. We got a lot more in here. Okay, maybe... We should go for a zirconium set, bro, like the purple one, because I can't lie to you. We are... Oh, whoa! I just made 10. No, please tell me I can actually put that back. Boom, and then... Okay, yeah, you can. See, you can actually, you know, switch it out. So we got... We already have a lot of zinc armor shards in here, and if I go into my PV... I actually have a little bit more, so maybe I was tripping. Maybe we should go for zirconium because the zinc is looking a little, a little too easy. Plus, it's like gray, you know, it's kind of bland. Not a whole lot of color, so I'm going to hold that thought because we might actually go for the purple one. Okay, we cleared out one shop right here. Now, this one did have the most, I believe, but still. If I do slash PV, this is more than enough zinc to make a full set literally right now so i think i don't know we're gonna see bro i'm gonna keep going through these shops i do want to pop open all of these pet boxes in this intro as well because i need to get some better pets here if it's possible we have a godly and we have a godly rank currency i believe we can get a mythical rank currency in today's episode easily but here we go another 112 stacks of hydrogen armor shards bro this is actually taking a fat minute okay we have finally come to the end of this bro jesus christ boom those were the last little shards that we can make but now if i do slash pv look at all of the zinc shards that i have right here this is going to be enough to craft a full set already i believe so maybe we're gonna go for the zirconium but let's do slash armor first and let's see how much zirconium we can even get for this many stacks of zinc armor so we could get 33 tin armor shards but clearly that's not what we want and this is what we're gonna get back two and a half stacks of zirconium armor shards we're gonna do it and then if we do slash armor again go to mining family go to this this is only enough zirconium to craft boots bro that is literally it but i guess i can just keep buying these armor shards and not in this episode but probably in the next one i want to say maybe we will have enough zirconium to make a set i don't really know like look at these bro these guys are trying to come here like i'm not absolutely poor um oh wait no no we still got stuff in here if they do want to sell oh this shop is out of balance and i don't have anything to refill it right now but anyways now that that's out of the way let's go ahead and grab these pet boxes and we are going to be popping some of these bad boys open bro not not some of them we're going to be popping all of them open and actually i think if we shift right click boom look how fast that just speed open those boom oh my god and bro we have an extra large backpack here this is efficient as hell i actually like this boom there we go we just we still have space oh we have some ultras as well pop those open really quickly still mad space and then boom we're just going to come in here and we are going to ascend all, but we're also going to delete all of the common pets. And we're just going to have to keep ascending here because we should have... Oh, just like that. Boom. We ascended like, I don't know, 400 pets or something. And yes, yeah, still not anything crazy good on the orb side of things. But over here, we have an extra godly currency pet. We have a unique plus and then some rare pluses. Okay. This is going very well. With this big of a backpack, bro, you can run through these pet boxes insanely fast, bro. Boom. And then we still have we still have mad slots. Oh, my God. So this is actually not going to be a pain at all, bro. I'm going to run through all of these for you guys so I don't bore you with just popping open a bunch of pet boxes. Oh, wait. Hold up. We got a unique orbs now. And then we still... Oh, we have a couple unique rank currencies. We can almost make that mythical um, rank currency pet. And guys, don't forget slash crates look at how many crakeys i have here just from straight mining we're gonna have a lot more pet boxes to open than this and guys realistically speaking i should be popping all of these pets at my mine over here so that way we can afk and keep our companion going making me a little bit of money and a little bit more mine orbs and actually we'll pop this we'll pop that and we will pop the lucky pickaxe and then we're gonna keep oh wait actually need to ascend okay we just finished opening up all of the pet boxes that we got from our player shop and we are gonna send everything real quick and boom that is everything we have two unique plus orbs pets and then we have two godly rank currency pets so actually if we throw this pet back in the backpack and then we ascend all again boom we should have a mythical 
rank currency pet w let's go ahead and activate him and then obviously we're gonna have to level him up all the way to level 600 he is level 400 right now bro which means we are gonna get a fat boost multiplier once we max this mythical pet out but we're not even done there because slash crates it is time now before i pop open all of these keys let me go into my mailbox to make sure we're not leaving anything in here because, yeah, I think I can trash basically all of this. We're going to take the hydrogen shards and then the rest of this is going to get straight trash. I mean, yeah, trash them all because we have to clear it because whenever we open this many keys, our inventory is very clearly going to get full. So let me just instant open a couple of these because I want to get some pet boxes or... Or maybe not. Yo, Jesus Christ, bro. I need more pet boxes than that. Hold up. Okay, nah, never mind. Screw it. We're just going to fill our inventory with the regular pet boxes. We only got one ultra pet box. I'm just going to pop them all open. And then we will collect all of the extras from the mailbox. Boom, it's to open all of them. And bang. Yeah, full inventory of basically everything. And then look at the mailbox. A thousand two hundred twenty-eight items. Now we need to go back to the plot because I need to deposit some of these boxes real quick yeah because look at this real claim all boom oh my god a fat amount of keys and then some more boxes let me just take a cut again and i'm going to open up all of our crate keys and i'll bring you guys back with the results of how many pet boxes we are going to be opening because it's probably going to fill up a lot of these double chests and boom bro honestly i thought we were actually going to get way more than that bro but we got like a dub and a half of pet boxes to still go through so we're going to be taking another cut if i could get a mythical orbs pet that is basically the dream right now i just i don't know if that's necessarily going to be possible man because if we take a look at the backpack real quick do we have at least one extra godly orbs pet if we do it might just be possible but no still two unique pluses we have a godly right here so we just need two more godlies but i don't know if we're gonna get it out of this all right guys we are back bro and i've already started mining a little bit because i need more pet boxes asap if we take a look bro i have a godly right here and obviously we have a godly in my inventory we have a unique plus another unique plus the only thing we need is one more unique plus and then we will be able to build the godly orbs pet and that is what i was or not the godly orbs pet the mythical orbs pet all right so if we take a look i have been mining a little bit the mythical rank currency pet is level 529 and we have almost a 20x booster which is absolutely insane but the thing is all of my shops are pretty much out of mine orbs. I, I believe I still have money in my money shop, but mine orbs wise, we're broke. And I've only grinded out 4.8 trillion so far. So it is actually not looking the greatest, but we're going to go ahead and join the brand new cell in this clip really quickly. So I believe... Or is it slash gang leave? Okay, slash gang leave. We now have no cell. But let me go ahead and message this guy. Ployed, yo, you on. I'm not leading the cell or anything. Oh, he said, yep. Can I get an inv now? And boom, we have been invited. Let's join the gang. You have accepted Ployd's request. What the, bro? Who is this? Bro, there's literally somebody in my mind. I didn't even know someone was mining here with me. But now if we take a look at slash gang. All right, we have me... We have this dude. Um, I believe this guy also uploads videos. I could be tripping about that, though. We have a lot of people in this gang, all right? Like I said, um, Pale happened not too long ago, and this is what gang top number one is right now. If I do slash bow, I have 722 million red beacons, almost 400 mil green, 200 mil yellow, 63 million blue beacons. So if I deposit, we can take gang top number one right now, but I mean, it's not like that's going to matter. I believe Ployd is one of the highest ranked farmers on the entire server. I don't know if they're ranked top farm. Is that a thing? No, it's not. This is just the ranked top for mining. I don't know how to look at ranked top for farming, but he is like rank 1.4 million, bro. So that is absolutely disgusting work. If we do slash a bow Ployd, I don't even know what his balance is looking like. The dude has 1.2 billion yellow beacons right now. But really quickly, actually, there was an update at the farm that uh, it was a brand new enchant. Snowball, give a chance for the mountain to erupt and launch five massive snowballs onto your farm. You guys can see this is level zero for me. I don't know how expensive this would be to max out. Wait, what's the max level again? The max level is level 30. 
30,000. Jesus Christ. Okay. So to max it out, it's going to actually be pretty expensive, but I have not seen that enchant at all. And I kind of do want to take a peek just to see what it's looking like. So we're not going to max it out or anything in this episode because I am not a farmer. We have one of the best farmers on the server. And I believe he also told me we have somebody in the plot that's 1.7 mil or rank 1.7 mil in, in the farm universe as well. So yeah, definitely do not need another farmer. If anything, we might need another fisher, but I am busy with mining and stuff trying to get that. So boom, there we go. We just invested all of our farming orbs into this and we have snowball level 9,000. Now I do have some enchants disabled here. So I don't know if this is going to give me like a cut scene or I'm going to notice whenever it procs. I have no clue, but the enchant sounds insane and I definitely want to see a proc. So I might just take a cut because I don't know how rare the proc actually is going to be. So we could be here for a while. Oh, oh, they fall from the sky. Oh my God, bro. Do you guys see that? Okay. No, that makes sense. I guess I can make you crops and get you beacons. That's actually pretty dope. Why don't people upgrade that enchant? is my question. So I guess that's pretty cool, but it's not really anything that we care about too much because again, we don't need any more farmers. So we're just going to go back to our slash plot actually and take a look at our shops and try and refill them with the little amount of uh, mine orbs that we have left. Almost 5 trillion, but that's not really a lot. Like if we take a look at this, this has zero in there. So we're actually going to throw like 3 trillion mine orbs in here real quick. And boom, there we go. 3 trill. Let's take a look at this one. This one has 1 trillion left, but look, we already have another 14 stack of hydrogen shards i haven't even been advertising today at all so we added the last amount into this and yeah we are just going to keep continuing to buy stuff like i said in this episode we are not going to be making any type of armor set but i think i'm actually going to go ahead and deposit all of my beacons real quick because i mean why not there's literally no point in not depositing them maybe i shouldn't deposit all of my red beacons but look i'm going to show you how useless this stuff is if we do slash gang right and then we come over here deposit beacons we are going to deposit 722 million red beacons deposited literally every last red beacon in there and if we do slash gang top we are all the way over here already and that is actually our only source it's giving us 7.2 million trophies but that is not a lot oh look like this guy deposited a hundred thousand red beacons and he's literally on gang top but again value just reset everybody's not going to deposit right away but i might as well deposit literally all of my beacons really quickly yellow beacons deposit the max and then deposit all of my blue beacons it's only 63 million but actually that's probably going to help a lot and then boom almost 400 million yellow beak or green beacons and now if we do slash gang top we should be number one we are by a long shot gang top number two has four billion total trophies we have 84 billion and I could grow that number by literally just fishing, which I might do a little bit of fishing in today's episode. I haven't really made up my mind because for right now, I'm just going to keep trying to keep my, uh, you know, shops stocked up with mine orbs. So that's going to do it for this clip. We are really trying to get the mythical pet loadout and then I will be satisfied for today's episode. All right. Um, we're back and I've been grinding a decent amount off camera. Whoa. Do I not have sounds on? What the? Okay, there we go. Yeah, but we've been grinding a little bit off camera just because I am so close to getting a mythical orbs pet. Well, I was. I, I believe I'm going to have enough to get it if we get a little bit lucky here in a second. For some reason, we are in... I think this is a, a firefight. You know what? I'm just going to die, bro. I don't even want to be here right now. I barely spawned in and it's wave four, so I have no enchants on anything and no XP. Yeah, just go ahead and kill me, bro. Go ahead, get me out of here. And there we go. We died. Slash mine. All right, get me out. Listen, so you got... Oh, wait, that's why my sounds are always so loud, bro, because I AFK over here and that noise is annoying. But I only have 5 trillion orbs right now, but if I go to slash plot, I'm assuming my shops are going to be empty, maybe. Let's see. I only really care about this one right now. Boom. Um. Oh, no, we still have 8 trillion in here. The prices might have changed we have eight trillion orbs in there and then five trillion here and we still have money in here okay we're good the prices might have changed though you guys can see we'd have a lot of uh, hydrogen armor shards in here even more in here but the thing i care about the most all right first of all mythical rank currency pets level 600 we are getting a 22x booster but i want a mythical orbs pet man and just a quick update on gang top hey we're still number one bro we're still all the way up there look Look at the lake source, bro. I deposited 66 million and that was like yesterday. We only have 115 million right now. So I'm telling you that 60 million beacons is actually going to help the plot. I'll probably farm some more off camera, to be honest. But we have a decent lead on gang top number two right now. But anyways, let's get right into it. Hopefully these pet boxes right here is actually going to be enough to give me the pet. 
I think we have to get a little lucky for it to actually craft, but watch. I'm going to show you guys right now. If we look at our backpack, right? And we look, we have a godly orbs pet right here, and we have one in our inventory, which means we only need one more. And I have a unique plus, and a unique plus, and a unique, bro. So literally two more unique orbs pets, and we will have the mythical orbs pet, bro. So if this isn't enough, I should have like some amount of keys, not a lot, but maybe the, you know, small amount of keys that we do have can put us over that little limit if we don't get it out of these right here. Oh, look at that. We now have two unique orbs pets. We're getting there, bro. We are getting there. And then we can almost make another mythical rank currency pet. And then after that, wait, it's immortal, right? Isn't that the max tier pet? Yo, we're low key pretty close to the max tier pets here. I can't lie to you. If I just keep buying these pet boxes, we should be able to hit it as long as I keep my shops full. But here we go. These are the last couple pet boxes we have right here. We have literally two ultra pet boxes left over. Boom and boom. Okay, didn't get a unique out of that. Let's delete all of the common pets. This is the moment of truth right here, bro. Please. I think we're going to get it. I think we're still ascending everything. But oh my God. No, we might be off by a little bit because we have so many orbs pets in there right now. Okay. Let's take a look. We still, we still only have two uniques, but we have a rare plus a rare, a rare. Oh my God. Okay. We might need to get a little bit lucky here. So we didn't get it, but if I do slash crates, how many do I have right now? Oh, we got a decent amount. We got a decent amount. There we go. Popped open all of the loot crate keys. Listen, let's just start popping open these ultra pet boxes. If we get one unique orbs, we have what we want and a unique currency. That's not bad, but it's not what we were wanting. Okay. Oh, we got it. We, we have enough. Okay, boom. Put the godly orbs pet in there. Ascend all. And then we should mythical orbs pet, bro. We have the mythical pet loadout. Let's go. We are only one tier away from both of these from hitting a mortal, which is the maxed out tier of a pet. I didn't get that. I didn't even get this far last season in pets. And that's all because of this extra large backpack. It makes ascending a thousand times easier. So anyways, the goal for this episode has been completed Thank God. And actually, yo, guys, I just took a look at our Discord, like our cell Discord, right? First of all, and they made an announcement of all of the beacons that we have right now. Now, clearly, all of our beacons aren't deposited into Gang Top right now, but he just took into account every single beacon that we have. And beacon, red beacons is literally our weakest source somehow. That's that's the best though. So maybe in the next episode, I actually will go check out the Slayer universe, the brand new universe that they released this season because we're somehow slacking on red beacons. Well, we're not slacking. It's not like we're way behind, but red beacons is our weakest source right now but yeah hey in this episode we got the two mythical pets i still have to work on maxing this guy out obviously and we ended up joining a competitive gang and we are competing for gang top this week so i think that's gonna do it for this episode guys don't forget to still sell to my plot i think i have to update these prices the shop's been up for like two or three days and i haven't really changed them so maybe i mean i changed it a little bit like this is 1.5 bill but i'm assuming prices got more expensive so i'm gonna need to uh up my prices here but yeah anyways the goal for the next episode is definitely to try and get that full purple uh, zirconium armor set don't know if that's going to be possible but we're going to find out and possibly possibly get the immortal rank currency pet because we already have two mythicals we only need one more mythical and then we have the immortal so listen exciting stuff dude we are progressing a ton this season i honestly wish i did a versus series this season next season we will be doing one though and we're hopefully gonna be doing it in the way that i want to without buying any beacons yeah we'll see anyways that's gonna do it for this episode if you guys did enjoy drop a like sub if you guys are new come check out the server with my custom ip if you guys do want to play and yeah i will see you guys in the next episode of prisons